Hey gang, Jack Lair here. Uh, just got back from AlmaCon. Uh, for those of you who don't know, there are a lot of conventions that happen here in Michigan. Uh, one of them is happens at Alma College. Uh, if you know where Saginaw is, it's a little, uh, let's see, Norman needs to you waffles west of Saginaw. Uh, and it's a smaller convention, but it's a lot of fun. They normally get anywhere from uh, five to six voice actors, a bunch of artists and uh, vendors there. They have uh, talks. Uh, I've covered it before, I think, on either on this channel or on my other channel. I can't remember what. And this was uh, Omicron 2017. And they had a lot of uh, really cool people there. And I got, I didn't get a lot of stuff, but the stuff that I got I think was really cool. Uh, I did uh, do cosplay this year. I did it on Saturday, and I decided to go as the old man from... Legend of Zelda, the original one, and uh, when I got there, I didn't have uh, any swords, but the 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 wonderful people at Bear Bites uh, were nice enough to uh, make me a handful of the first sword that you get in the Legend of Zelda, and I had fun wandering up to people and just going, that I found standing alone, I would just go... It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. And some were like, ah, oh, I got it. And others were like, ah, creepy guy, enemy of sword. Okay. But the, the Bear Bites, they were awesome. Uh, my son bought a ton of stuff from them uh, just because he had saved up. Uh, for an eight-year-old to save up $90 to go buy stuff, that was impressive. Uh, but he did all of that. Uh, each of uh, my sons and I uh, bought Pokeballs. I bought the Ultra Ball. Uh, one of them bought the Master Ball, and the other one bought the, it's not the Camel Ball, I think it's the Net Ball. But I, don't, I always get those confused. Um, there was also a, a wonderful person doing uh, charms for phones. And it was the, they look like Shrinky Dinks, for those of you that know what Shrinky Dinks are. Uh, it's basically a material, and then you, you color on it, and you do your art on it, and then you bake it, and then it shrinks down, and it hardens, and it locks in the color, and it makes the color more vibrant, which is really awesome. I've got one thing here, and I've got some that she's going to be shipping to me, uh, and... Uh, that was from uh, Chubby Cat Studios. Yes. Yes. I'm trying to remember where all this stuff came from. Um, but she was super awesome, and she's going to be sending me those. Um, and all of the links will show up here, and I'll also put them in the description down below. Uh, one of the things that my son, the reason my son had saved up $90, was that he wanted to... Uh, before when we went there, he had he had seen a bag of, of rupees, and he was super excited, and he has talked about it for the past year, and they're basically just uh, these colored gems here, and they had all the different colors and then a, a few extras, and he wanted them pretty badly. He's actually gone through and added up. Oh, I just dropped one. Uh, I bought a bag as well, but he actually uh, bought a bag, and when you bought a bag from them, they threw uh, like one of each in there, and they're good leather sturdy bags. Um, they also do clothes, and I actually use these in part of my costume. They were hanging from the belt at my leg. And so that was from... And I'm going to pronounce this wrong, maybe, but it's it's either Diesel or Daisel. It's D-E-O-S-I-L, -E Designs. And I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And in my rush to get back home, uh, I did not ask because I'm an idiot. Uh, and the Pokeballs, I do not remember who, who we bought those from. Um, while we were there, we did, I'm going to jump around a little bit now, we stopped by, uh, 
uh, a Meyer up there. For those of you who don't know what Meyer is, it's a local version of Walmart. Um, and I found, uh, on clearance, I found a, a lovely Transformer, which is a um, Minicon Sawback. Uh, it's kind of like, uh, it's the dog version of Ravage, I guess, from this modern Transformers. I don't know, it was $2 or something. And then, of course, uh, all of their Disney Infinity stuff was on clearance for 75% off, and I could not pass up uh, snagging Boba Fett. We do not have Disney Infinity, but I do have a small collection of the little figures, just because every once in a while the figures look really cool. Like from Skylanders, Hex is still one of my favorite looking Skylanders, uh, just because she's got the white eyes and the flowing black robe, and she's carrying a skull, crystal skull around for some reason. Um, over in the vendor area, uh, and basically there, there are two separate places where you buy stuff. There's the artist, artist alley, which are people that make things. And then there are the vendor alley where the vendors mostly just sell licensed things. Uh, and I only bought things from one vendor over there. Uh, my son just bought, uh, uh, candy and stuff. He didn't buy any, uh, ramune this year, but I bought these little guys. Uh, they are mechanical looking dragon figures, and I got these to use in my D&D campaign that was happening that Sunday, and it actually was a big hit, so that was good. They also had a, a $5 bin, which was basically everything in this bin was $5, and I looked through, and the first thing that jumped out at me instantly was Ultraman, and I haven't had a chance to sit down and watch it yet, because this is only the day after, and I had to go right back to work the day I got back. But this has got uh, 10 episodes on it, and I remember watching some Ultraman uh, probably 20 years ago or so, and I remember the show just being absolutely hysterical, so I wanted to get it and watch it again. Um, also, a, a manga that I have never heard of, uh, which is, and I don't know if it's 07 Ghost or 07 Ghost, uh, but I decided to give it a try. They had uh, one and two, so I decided to snag those. Um, also, and the last thing that I'm going to show is, well, the last things I'm going to show um, are a bunch of things that are by uh, some artists who have done, they've done a bunch of things, and I'm trying to figure out which order to show it to you in. I guess I will start with the uniques. And they're by Comfort and Adam. And basically what they are is that they are uh, a team of artists that uh, they were doing other things and they decided to uh, do, kind of break out and do uh, comic books on their own. And then they do the comic books in, in runs and they have a story and plot planned out and then they go through it. And one of the panels was amazing because they actually showed like, here's what here's what we did wrong. Don't do that. Make your own mistakes. Um, and I had we had been to their panels. I think every year we've gone to their panels, just because their panels do change. Uh, one of the first ones was so you've got you've uh, one was how to draw. One was I think you've got your character. Now what? Um, but there are the uniques, which are uh, volumes one and two, and then there's uh, Rainbow in the Dark, which is one of their other books. And I decided I was just going to go whole hog and get them all. And then they also uh, offered when you bought all of them that you could get some of the prints that they've done, which I thought was really cool. And normally when we get things like that, um, my sons have a say in it because I'm generally a nice person. But this time I saw two that I was just like, nope, I've already picked them out. You don't, you don't get to say so. And the first one is this beautiful rendition of the characters from The NeverEnding Story. And I was like, I was just looking through and I was like, oh, this is super cool. Because The NeverEnding Story for anyone around my, my age, if you saw it, um, you probably saw it when you were about the age of the boy in in the movie, and it was just like, oh, this is this is speaking to me. 
I am the kind of kid that would duck out and go read a book somewhere because there was nothing to do in my small town. And the other one, of course, uh, that I couldn't pass up is the lovely art of the Serenity characters. I absolutely loved this and I look forward to getting these uh, framed and put up by my desk. But that is all that I got from Almacon. Uh, I do have uh, some more pickups that I want to talk about, but I wanted this to be the Almacon episode. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on!